Kia ora everybody, welcome to the Te Arawa Games, we're here at Western Heights High School in Rotorua and we've got some whanau getting together and playing for Te Arawa. Here is uh, the organiser of this wonderful event, Anita Morgan. Kia ora Anita. Kia ora. How's it all gone? We've had an awesome weekend, we've had three days full of sport and whanaunga tanga and it's just been a wonderful experience for all our whanau who've come from all over the motu to join us this weekend for our first um, Te Arawa Games in 10 years it's been. Yeah. Wonderful, that must be very satisfying just in itself. Why so long? Um, well, in the time when the Te Arawa Games first um, came about, it was run by a small group of people and they worked really, really hard over a period of six to eight years to have this happen for our people every year. But uh, because of fiscal constraints and people moving on to other things, it just kind of went into hiatus. And so, you know, we saw it as a wonderful way of reviving Te Arawa Tanga and getting our whānau together under for a, a nice ngāwari kaupapa, friendly sports, you know, it's all about participation at these games, although some whānau are still really, really competitive, and, you know, that's a great thing about being Māori too. Oh, Aida, well, how has the participation been? You've got, oh, we, we were at the waka, we saw the waka out in the freezing cold, lots of people out there, lots of people here today. That's right, well, waka is one of our biggest sports for our whānau, and oh. um, not only in Te Arawa, right throughout the motu, our Māori have been you know paddling waka for generations now and yes despite the rain and the cold everybody turned up we had 45 teams registered 45 crew and uh, for four and a half hours they um, they battled the the rain and uh, we had an awesome day we had a successful day and everyone had a great time wonderful how did it go today it was very well um, oh, my team was such amazing. It was very cool having to paddle that long. What's the name of your team? Suhaurangi. Do you think you fellas um, could have gone any faster or did you go as fast as you could? We went as fast as we could, as strong as we could. As fast as you could, as strong as you could. Well, congratulations. You kind of just blew the rest out of the water. Ka pai. Thank you. Definitely so. Um, Kiora here has actually been really big. It's been held by our tupuna, our, our whanaunga down in Ngāti Parau and up in Ngāpui. So they're the, they're the ones who've been holding on to Kiora here for a long time. And it is, it's really popular overseas. There's more kids in the United States of America who play Kiora here than our own whanaunga. So McDonald's actually sponsored the Kiora here competition over in America. But um, I think about three months ago, our New Zealand national squad went over to France and they played against the French national team and the Italians because our tupuna in uh, World War II took it over and played in, which was uh, definitely a lot of our Ngāti Parau whanaunga took over the game of Kia Rahi over there. But it's making a, a definitely a resurgence nowadays. And as you can see, all day our whanau's been out there loving it. It's been that's a really awesome game. As you can see, everyone can play too. Our nannies, our crowers, our tamaiti. It's, it's that whole whaka whanaunga tanga game. It's, it's an awesome game. Well, I, this is my first time of playing Kia Rahi today the, at this um, event. It's been really wonderful. Um, I've learned a lot. I've had to ask my cousin here, who's a tiny bit more experienced on the rules, because it's better to play it than actually go through and listen yeah. to the rules. You have yeah. to play it. Yeah. What's your comment on it, Kat? Uh, th this is like my third tournament playing it, and it's, it's awesome. Love it. It's, and like Joe said, it's, it's easier to learn how to play it while you're playing it. I know it's crazy but so it's like the, the rules are just like going through one ear, you know, out the other, but yeah, gotta play it. What's really nice about this this game is that the Tamariki can play yeah. with the uh, older people with your with their grandparents, like we had a kōro, um the daughter and the Tamariki playing in the game as well. Yeah. So that was really nice. Yeah. For the kids, especially, I think, like, looking at all the kids, like, everywhere, running around, having heaps of fun. I remember when I used to do sort of that, that sort of thing, too, but, yeah, it's good for these ones. Um, and you, as a new parent, you brought your baby along. What do you hope that she will get out of an event like this? Um, yeah, just a bit of a bit of fun, a bit of learning, you know, like, yeah. Meet the cousins? Yeah, exactly. New cousins from everywhere. Oh, <laughs> then they, uh... Nga tākaro, kia kotahi hoki ngā whānau, ngā hapu o, o te aroa nei. Uh, tēnei hoki te pai o, o, ngā, o, o, o tēnei rā, me ngā, me ngā rā i rua koa pahu, ngā rā rua koa pahu de. Uh, pai ana hoki mo, o tēnei mahi te mahi rā, tākaro. Pehe o whakaro mo tēnei ki mu me ki te ki o rahi? O katahi no ka kite ahau i tēnei, uh, tēnei ki mu. 
Kare anō kua i kare ahau i mōhi o ki tēnei kēmu ana i taku taenga tēnei i te rā nei ka e mōhi ana hau i nāe nei. What is the Te Rua Games about to you? Well, it's really about re-engaging and, re-en- and, and re-culturing our whānau. It's a, it's a reason for everyone to come together as Te Arawa, to reconnect with whānau and to um, build their whakapapa connections, to find out their whakapapa connections for those who have been away for a long time. And it's just about developing those relationships and giving us all a reason to come together to do that. Beautiful. What have some of the highlights been? I think um, definitely the waka ama because in, in our um, sports we encourage the participation of um, tamariki, mokopuna and kaumatsu are all in one team and it's been just really awesome to see you know, our kroa and our kuia sitting in a waka with their mokopuna. This morning we had the koeke and tamariki games here so we had them running around on the field chasing each other and uh, having just a whole lot of fun and it's about just seeing how wonderful it can be for our, our whānau to come together in that sort of environment without any hassles, without any um, heavy kaupapa, just to have a great time. Perfect. What have some of the uh, kōrero that you've got back from some of the participants? Oh, well, everybody wants to earn participation points. So, you know, I had a little um, kōtiro come up to me this morning and she said to me, Fire, if I sing a song, will I get some bonus points? So, you know... Even our babies, you know, they're looking for a reason to um, to fuck a mana their own hapu, you know, to to give it, have an opportunity to share and be a part of that system of where they're getting together to work together for the better cause. Wonderful, what a, and what a wonderful cause it is indeed. Aneta Morgan, thank you so much, and congratulations on such a job well done. Kia ora, kiri. Kia ora.